morning once again, dear ones. Glad to have you with me. Uh, each day as we share together in that, it is my heart's desire that the Word of God, well, according to Luke chapter 8, verse 11, uh, the seed is the Word of God, and it is my prayer that uh, these seeds that we plant each day will go down deep into the good soil of our hearts, and that each of us, myself included, will grow in the grace and the knowledge of the Lord. Each day as I spend time in the Word, I ask the Lord to make real to me something for their uh, for that day, something that I need to hear, something I need to apply to my own life. So I pray that, that as we share together in this, the Lord will use that to do that same thing in each of our hearts. Our reading today is Job 33 and 1 Corinthians chapters 1, 2, and 3. But as it is written, I has not seen nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us, through his spirit, for the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. I scarcely, uh, I scarcely know where to even begin with these verses. Paul has dealt with this whole wisdom of the wisdom of this age and what it will become, uh, what will happen to it, and those who depend upon that wisdom. And now he deals with true or biblical or spiritual wisdom versus the wisdom of the age. The rulers of this age know nothing of God's wisdom because if they had known God's wisdom, they would not have crucified the Lord. And as for those today, they crucify him afresh for exactly the same reason. However, those who know the Lord are classified, seen totally different because we know the Lord, something has taken place. We've been given the Holy Spirit who resides inside of us and makes known to us the deep things of God, which the world knows nothing of, primarily because they've rejected his word, and that's where God has chosen to reveal those things. And to add to that, Paul tells us that even we, who know and possess wisdom beyond the wisdom of this world, can't even begin to know all that there is to know that God has prepared for us, uh, the wisdom, all the glory, and the wonder of who he is. Then, then comes this wonder. He is revealing these wonders to us through his spirit because the spirit resides in us and is himself God. He searches the deep things of God and reveals them to his children. Praise God. He does. Then he goes on to explain in verses 11 and 12 how incredible that is. He likens the communion between the father and the spirit to what takes place in we who are born again and have the spirit inside us. He, the Holy Spirit, reveals the deep things of God to us in a manner like that which takes place within the Holy Trinity. This, man, this goes far beyond wonderful. This is fantastic. This is mind-blowing. It's like, uh, uh, we who know the Lord have the knowledge of God through his word and our guide, the Holy Spirit, through the stuff of life. We have the ability through the Spirit to know and judge what is taking place in the world around us and how to respond to it. We have the mind of Christ. Think of it, the mind of Christ. No one in this present evil world can do uh, that they can do uh, and, and understand and know this incredible truth without knowing the Lord Jesus Christ. What a privilege is ours, not just of being born again, as glorious and wonderful as that is, but of knowing and having the mind of Christ while we wait for his return, for him to come back, to take us out of this world, while we wait and he gives us wisdom and knowledge that, that the world can't even begin to hope for. And that's not to say that people in the world aren't intelligent and don't have uh, smarts and all that kind of stuff. We're talking about wisdom that comes from God, and it is freely given to all who know him. And that knowledge comes to us through the living, wonderful, active word of God that we are sowing these seeds down deep into our heart, into the good soil of our heart and life. And the Holy Spirit then uses them to cause us to grow and to flourish and give us wisdom that is far beyond the wisdom of this age. Praise the Lord. What a wonderful Savior we serve. I pray that that will be a blessing to you today as you allow the word of God to be planted in your heart and you grow in the grace and the knowledge of the Lord. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you today, I pray.